On April 1st, 2021, I ditched a career I absolutely hated to better myself and do the things I've always wanted to do. And that included my growing love and obsession with Ireland. I want to learn everything. Culture, history, mythology, music, and the language. Which, if I'm being honest, looks really hard to learn, but I'm going to give it the old Smith try. Then, of course, there is my love of pubs and the role that they've played throughout history, and no better example of that than on that beautiful, beleaguered island in the North Atlantic, Ireland. April 1st, 2026, I depart for the Emerald Isle, and for one year, I'll hike town by town and conduct interviews with pub owners, pub regulars, historians, town know-it-alls, musicians, and basically anybody that wants to talk to me. If you'd like to support the project and the journey, basic Patreon support is only three bucks a month, but just liking a video or subscribing to the channel and following the journey is just as helpful. I'm always looking for volunteers to work as liaisons for the project too, so if you live in Ireland and know people, feel free to hit me up. This is a huge goal and I need all the help I can get. The Smitty Learns Irish podcast begins April 26th and will be my life's work. Thank you. Uh, one Big Holiday by My Morning Jacket. Since I can't copy and paste that, let's just get that out of the way right now. Not that it's something that we need to get out of the way. I think I've heard My Morning Jacket before. Uh, maybe one song. I have to take a look here. One Big Holiday by My Morning Jacket from the 2003 album It Still Moves. Is there any songs on here I know? The first couple that pop up on Spotify, Worldless Wordless Chorus, Golden Run It, Touch Me I'm Going to Scream, One Big Holiday, uh, I'm Amazed, Do Dante, Don Dante, Tyrone, Rocket Man, Get to the Point. I don't know if I've heard any songs. I don't know if any of those ring a bell. So uh, let's do that. One Big Holiday from My Morning Jacket. Let's roll. Okay, I was like, why isn't it playing? What's going on? Let's take two. <laughs> That's crisp and beautiful. Very crazy train sort of bass line. Donut. That's not exactly like donut, 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 but it's kind of reminiscent of it in a really cool way uh, because the rest of the song sounds nothing like crazy train. Uh, there's a really crisp, beautiful, like melodic playing, and that bass line is just kind of like uh, background thunder.
I don't, I'm killing it during the solo. Let me bring it back a little bit so I could get the solo again. I apologize. Sometimes my brain just needs to pause. Uh, I'm looking at when this band came out, 2003. I had always lumped them in just by, and I'm positive I've heard a song before. I always lumped them in with like um, uh, you know, modern rock bands in the 2000s, like uh, uh, The Killers. Uh, there's a number of other bands that are escaping me right now, but uh, I'd always lumped it in with that, and it seems to be not necessarily a the 2000s modern rock sound that I associated it with. You know what I mean? Uh, there's a very bluesy element to it. There's a really cool laid-back element to it. They really all, all, uh, sound like the Irish band Aslan that I've been reacting to and uh, interviewing uh, soon, hint, hint. Uh, really kind of reminiscent of that, the same sort of... Uh, um, kind of laid back bluesy structures with some cool nuance thrown in and similar vocals, you know, uh, uh, I like it. I like it. I think I really like that. Yeah, well-constructed, well-constructed solo. And I said, I, I, my brain just has a tendency to pause. I'm not that type of person that gives a shit usually about the guitar solo. I bet you that is, I say the drums a lot, but I bet you guitar solos are the last thing I gravitate towards on a song. Uh, specifically like metal, where... So many times a solo is just show offy. Oh, we're going to put a solo in here and they fucking do it. And it doesn't necessarily serve the song for me as a listener. That was well constructed, well formatted, served the song. And I'm looking at the album right now, 2003's It Still Moves. And there is, what, 11 songs on here? 12 songs clocking over an hour and 10 minutes, seven, uh, almost eight minute songs, nine minute songs. Uh, that in itself makes me want to check out this band more because I, I just lumped them in with modern rock, three, four minute songs. You know what I mean? And I even said the killers, like, I don't like that band. And I, I like the killers too. I probably should listen to more from that band. Uh, but my morning jacket, pleasantly surprising. Fantastic request, Mac. Appreciate that. What the hell? Everything.